Yeah, Nigel, and even just a moment ago, we saw a train stop just before this intersection. Cars stopped, hesitated, not knowing what to do. Many of them pulling forward onto the tracks, even as that train was just inching forward. It was like a ghost town because the, that train was still there. This weekend, a CSX train blocked Hampton Station's main entrance and the Swamp Rabbit Trail from Friday at 4 until late Sunday night. Business owners we spoke with reported 20 to 30 percent loss in revenue because of the blockage. We'll get a call that says, yeah, we couldn't come tonight, couldn't make a reservation, uh, you know, because we couldn't get in there, didn't know how to get around. For a small business to close down on us a weekend day because no one's coming, it's pretty big. Business owners tell us it all started in April when CSX trains began blocking Hampton Avenue extension several days a week, starting around four for minutes to hours with no clear way around. Though this has been a short term sporadic problem, owners say this could have lasting effects. Now people are getting in their minds. I've been there once, been there twice. There's been a train in the way. You know, we're not going to go there. We're going to go somewhere else. Laurel Zimmerman's e-bike business has been heavily affected. Instead of biking a minute down the road to the Swamp Rabbit Trail, her customers get lost and cut off by trains. She has to ride out, find them, and guide them through busy streets back. But it's dangerous. There's no side. There's no sidewalk. You can't see anything coming, and people get a little impatient and try to pass, so you never know if you're going to come straight up and come right into a car. She says it's a safety concern. Just today, our crews watched as several cars crossed, confused as the train stood still on the tracks. I'm more worried about the safety of not only our cyclists and our renters, but everybody else who's trying to access. Um, it's only a matter of time before somebody is trying to pass under that train and it moves, and that's a nightmare. And we reached out to CSX about these claims and that stopped train. They responded in part, CX, CSX strives to be a good neighbor to communities where we operate and we work hard to minimize the impact of our operations. We understand that it can be frustrating when trains block road crossings and we take every effort to prevent that from happening whenever possible. We're going to have their full statement on our website, WYFF4.com. For now, live in Greenville County, I'm Peyton Furtado, WYFF News 4.